Hi, this is Dr. Alex C again. Now, what I'm showing you here is the partially completed temperature monitoring and the operator alarm system front panel. Okay, as you can see, this program is not complete and it has a broken arrow on the left hand side. Now, I would like to switch over to the block diagram. Now you have a task here. There are some missing codes in here indicated by section 1. We have another code which is the missing code section 2. And some broken wires here. And there's some broken wires here. Now these two are the simulated buzzer alarm and the simulated LED alarm. And this LED is the red color LED that we were doing up just now. So uh, I would like to take the opportunity to explain briefly there is the sub VI called the temperature, the simulate temperature acquisition VI. This is a VI that is created to generate that temperature reading that you saw earlier, which was shown on the monitoring chart for the green color line. So I will double click on this icon. This is the front panel and I will also review the code here. Okay, let me put it on full screen. So as you can see, this is the icon for the simulate temperature reading acquisition. Now let me start by briefly going through this code over here. On this side here is the an array of floating numbers. What it has here is that it has a hundred elements in this array, which I will, which you will see shortly. Yeah. Why is it hundred? Okay, I can uh, because of the constraint of space. Okay, I can actually keep on dragging this array element. To review the hundred elements but I'm not going to do that so when I first run this program okay as you can see it finishes very quickly because this is a sub VI and this is a while loop and this while loop has the loop condition terminal which I've set it to true because it only iterates one time Um, this array of element is passed into this while loop. Okay? And this function here is an index array function. Basically, it extracts the element from this array, which is the temperature reading based on the index here. Now, if you are unsure what this function does, you can hover your mouse to the context help window. Okay? And you can mouse over this device, index array. And you can see the explanation for the context help. If you want a more detailed help, you can populate, click on this detail help, which will help to explain what this function does. Okay, I'm going to temporarily close this context help window. So this is an uninitialized uh, sheet register. So the value that comes out here each time will be incremented by 1. And this is a numeric value, integer value in particular. And the index array will pick up this index value 
and display the element from this array. So, after the increment function, this value will be divided by a hundred and the remainder will be passed out to this shift register so that on the next iteration, this element will appear at the shift register and the next array element will be picked up from the index array function. I will demonstrate to you in a short moment. One thing to note is that the loop iteration count is set at 500 milliseconds to this function here. Right click, visible item, wait millisecond function. So which means that every half a second, one value is generated and passed out as the simulated temperature reading. Now let me switch on the highlight execution light bulb over here so that you can see the code in action. Now because uh, if I were to click on the run button, this program will only execute once. Okay, So you can't really see very much. So what I intend to do is that I will click on this continuous run button Okay, just for this demonstration alone. Click run. Now what you can see over here is very clear that this array has an element of 100, 100 elements over here. And each time a single element is being pulled out from this array of simulated temperatures. Okay. And this shift register gets incremented by one value each time and therefore every time the index array will pull out the next element. And finally, just to mention that one simulated temperature data value is generated for each call to this sub VI and hence the simulated data repeats in cycles of 100. I will stop the demonstration here.